Yo guys, what up? Nick Broen here. Today I'm giving you a Ancient Megas Bride discussion slash re uh slash review. And I apologize, um I would have ordinarily put out a reaction and gave my initial afterthoughts afterwards, however, I did film a reaction. However, on my phone there is a slow-mo mode. Like it slows down the video. So if so, if I were to upload that to YouTube, you would sit there for a good, like, maybe potentially an hour. Just watching everything in the slowest mode possible. So, I thought, you know what? I can't re-react to it. It'll be disingenuous then. So, you know, so I told you, you know what? The Inky Megas Broad reaction is scheduled from, for uh, Tuesdays. So, why not, since I already watched the uh, episode... Why not just give you a discussion or a review, whatever you want to call it. So that is exactly what we're doing. A discussion slash review of the Ancient Megas Bride episode 9. Right now. So the Ancient Megas Bride episode 9 was a really, really good one. I honestly wished this was, you know, a reaction because... This was a really good episode. This is like one of those episodes, like you know those shows that are like really, like those episodes and shows that are like really good to react to? That's kind of what this episode was like. And it was really awesome and cool, so, I mean, yeah, but it's just a damn shame. But without, you know, delaying anything else, let's get into this. So we start off with, um, I believe Elias was tearing the uh, little creepy kids um Camaros apart on top of that Chise was unconscious however in her unconscious state she also got to see the memories of um what's the dude called the uh, I don't know his name I can never remember it. the werewolf the werewolf dude the uh I think it's called a grave grim or a grim grave something like that um but we, she got to see his memories and see the fact that, um, you know, him and his sister were really close. And it was a very big tragedy to him, that the fact that his sister died. Which, his sister died by, like, kids at a school or a church. And that was really dark in of itself. On top of that, we got to see, like, how he was handling it, like... He didn't believe she was actually dead and he would stay at her grave and, you know, just wait until she quote unquote woke up and it was just very tragic and very sad, man. It made me feel bad for this character, man. Like I said, I can't remember his name at the moment, but it's that, that dog dude from the last episode. Um, but yeah, there was that. We also got... Some more of the alchemist, uh, both Alice and her mentor. I can't remember his name either, but um, they were in this episode. Um, some good comedic scene with them. They have a very similar relationship to uh, Chise, like Elias and Chise, like the alchemist. They have a very similar kind of relationship or bond. So it's very cool to see the alchemists. And the mages have, you know, a, a close bond, too. Instead of, you know, them just being evil for the sake of being evil. It's very much, they just have different viewpoints. And he even, the, one of the alchemists even stated that, um, like, there's territories. And we don't cross into the mages' territories. So, it was very cool to see, like, they aren't, like... Initially speaking, I thought they were supposed to be like these evil dudes, like the alchemists were the evil ones. But, um, I was proven wrong. It's just a difference in opinion and they go their separate ways. That's really all it is. Or well, that's how I see it at the moment. Um, so we got to see more of the alchemists. Creepy Kid initially, you know, started making all these chimeras and started chimeras and started you know screwing people over because initially he didn't want to feel pain and he didn't want to suffer anymore uh we got a name joseph however 
there was another name he was called, and uh, I don't know what that was. I, I couldn't hear it because I was, I was too busy cussing him out. But when things um, calmed down, I did hear he say, "I have a name. It's Joseph," or something along those lines. So, the creepy kid's name apparently we're just gonna call him Joseph. Um, but like I said, he was initially made all these chimera and used people and animals because he didn't want to suffer or something along those lines. And I guess he wanted to make like a body or um, somehow alter his own body with other parts of other creatures to sort of not be able to, you know, have to suffer in this life. And he also said that um, the meaning of life is to not suffer, but you should make other people suffer, is what the implication was. So he's, he's a pretty fucked up character, so yeah. I'm kind of glad that we actually got the fact, like, something, instead of him just being an evil character for the sake of being an evil character. He initially just did this to not feel anymore and to, you know, not suffer. So, at least we have a reason. At least we have some kind of motive. Though, in the long run, it's just very disturbing what this little brat Joseph is do doing. It's, it's really crazy, and I don't know, man. He's a fucked up dude. Um, on top of that, we have some really good heartwarming scenes. Like she say, you know, touching the... The werewolf dude's cheek and saying, I'm not going anywhere, and how I woke up. Uh, the dude initially felt uh, what I'm assuming is lost and he doesn't know what to do. He asked Chise if he could, you know, stay with her and Elias. And uh, eventually they formed a pack. Uh, Chise now has a pact with this werewolf dude. And yeah, they made a pact and they went home together. Um, that on top of that, um, I think that's no, 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 that's not it. There was one other really, really fucked up thing I want to talk about. The fact that this Joseph kid used the werewolf dude's little, uh, I, I'm assuming it's a little sister, but it's just a sister in general. But Joseph used the werewolf dude's dead sister's corpse to make a chimera. That shit was fucked. At that point, I was like, I'm done with you, kid. I don't like you. Even if later on you give me a reason and a motive. Mm -mm, get, get that shit out of here. I don't like you. Fuck off. I don't like you. You're annoying. <laughs> uh, the kid, he, he takes things incredibly too far man and and it's really it's it's really fucked <laughs> um yeah man and the fact that the werewolf dude had to destroy his sister's corpse to you know put her out of existence again that's even more tragic man like oh man this is this episode man she say is continu continuously that uh, continuously like amazes me. Like she's you still know that you can still sense a bit of lost and, and you know that she doesn't really know where she's going, but you can see her sh shortly and very slowly steadily, you know, you know um developing as a person, you know. She's beginning to stand up for herself. Like, one of the big highlights of this episode was the fact that she stood up for herself and stood up for the werewolf dude and for Elias, man. She was badass. And on top of that, um, you know, she's starting to, you know, care about other people. Whereas, in previous episodes, she was still very unaware of what it meant to care about people. And in this episode, you clearly saw that she started to care for someone other than Elias or whatever dude she just really started to care about the alchemists and the werewolf dude like she is like she continuously amazes me I'm loving Chise and I'm loving her character 
right now my my best girl is Lisa from uh, the Castlevania Netflix series. But she's safe right now is giving her a run for her money. But still, I don't know, man. Um, Chisei just continuously surprises me and amazes me. Elias is very interesting as a character. Apparently, I think it was two episodes ago, we learned that he just wants to feel like humans. Or he just wants to understand how humans think and feel. So he's a very interesting character on that. On top of that, I don't think... Elias would have lost control, like of his calm demeanor, unless he genuinely cared about Chise. So that kind of resolves a bit of my doubts about Elias. He is someone who does, in one way or another, care about Chise on a personal level, not just in a professional level and on, you know, Chise's experiments. He just genuinely cares about her. So, it was very cool to, you know, kind of see all that. Oh, man. This, this episode was amazing. The animation is always stunning, beautiful. Voice acting, thoroughly enjoying the dub. Ah! Oh, um, I think that's about it, man. Yep, yeah, that's about it. So you guys, with that being said, if you like this video, rate it 1 through 10. Like, comment, share, subscribe to all that fun crap. And as always, this is your boy, Nick Browen. Out with the yay.